Hey, it's Quinn, your favorite plumber, here today to talk about how to transition from PEX A to PEX B or vice versa. We've got a lot of comments requesting this, so what do we recommend, a few ways to do it, and pros and cons. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is identify what type of pipe we have, PEX A or B. So if you zoom in close, you can see most of the pipe is listed on there. This says Upanor PEX A. Whereas the PEX style B, if you look, says PEX B. The second way is to identify the style of fittings. Um, PEX style B will have rings, metal rings, either crimp or clamp. So these are crimp rings. Whereas the PEX style A is expansion rings. So the rings are gonna be made out of a, a PEX or similar material. So that's how you'll identify what type of PEX you have. Okay, let's look at how you connect type A to type B. So for example, if your house was plumbed in Type A, if you're a DIYer, gonna do an expansion, don't wanna spend the money on an expansion tool, um, and wanna run PEX B, that's great. Here's how to transition. The recommended method to transition is to use a PEX B insert style fitting into both the PEX A and PEX B pipe. We'll use the crimp ring on the PEX A, and we'll use our insert style PEX B fitting, right? And we talked about the differences. This is the PEX A fitting, which is a little bit larger. You'll notice it won't fit into the pipe without expanding it with the expansion tool. PEX B, the crimp style insert fittings, will uh, be able to be hand fit in there. <laughs> so we have our uh, PEX A with our PEX B fitting. That crimps down. Then we will get the other end and put on our crimp ring. And there's our connection. So as you can see, we've transitioned from PEX A to PEX B or vice versa using a PEX B coupling with the crimp rings insert style fitting. So we did use crimps in this and that's the, the ring method. Um, people have asked, what do we prefer? I prefer the crimp rings. I think it's a more reliable long-term solution. There are is the clamp method, which is a little bit easier for install, but I have seen more clamps fail than rings. So. Side note, that was another question. Figured we get it answered there. I do have a disclaimer here, okay? As a contractor, this insert style fitting into the PEX A is not a manufacturer recommended transition. It'll work in the real world, but the man manufacturer does not recognize this as a transition. So if you're a contractor transitioning from type B to type A, what you need to do is ask the manufacturer on how they want you to make this transition, get that in writing, and so it doesn't void your warranty. The next joining method people have asked about is a shark bite fitting. There is a shark bite coupling that'll go from PEX A to PEX B or PEX to PEX. Um, I don't recommend them. Um, shark bites in general, I think are great for a temporary solution, but they're not a great permanent repair. So I would not recommend shark bite as your permanent transition. Lastly, there is threaded adapters that you can go. Um, maybe I should grab one, huh? Lastly, there is a threaded joint way to go from PEX B to PEX A or PEX A to PEX B. And this is what the engineer or manufacturer may recommend you do if you're a contractor um, that needs to have a certified joint. So you can see I have a MIP adapter, PEX A to MIP, and then I have a PEX B to FIP adapter, which is a threaded threaded joint here, and then you do your pipe dope and tape, get that all sealed up. And then one side, the PEX A side would have the expansion ring, and then the PEX B side would have the crimp ring. So that's what the engineer or manufacturer may want you to do if you're a contractor, but it's worth asking because this, this transition is way more expensive than your standard PEX B coupling. Okay, in summary, we took a look at how to identify the pipe either by the pipe label or the connection style of your fittings uh, between PEX B and PEX A. And then we talked about our recommended joining method, which is a PEX B insert style fitting with the crimp rings between PEX A and PEX B. This is the simplest. We also covered a shark bite, our thoughts on that, and then potentially using uh, threaded adapters as another option. And if you have more questions about PEX A versus PEX B, we have a full video on that, the joining methods, and really dive in a little more. So check that video out if you're interested. So if you thought this was useful, uh, like us, follow us, and make sure you keep asking questions. We're gonna keep answering 
as many as we can and making more videos of what you guys want. Thanks for watching.